Hello there, this is Alan Bruce. I will be doing a brief presentation and overview of Rod McCormick the metalsmith and the work that he has made, and a couple other artists that are similar to him in their work. And yeah, we'll just be taking a look at all that and seeing how McCormick's work has evolved over the years and what he's up to now. So let's start. So Rob McCormick was a student who quickly latched on and really delved into the different techniques uh, in the metalsmithing world, whether that be chasing, casting, and so on. Um, he's built up quite a repertoire of skill and pro uh, quickly proved himself in the metalsmithing world as a figure who had quite a flexible set of tools when it comes to when it came to a skill set and he was also a he's also a figure who unlike a lot of other people started delving into the more computer aided and sort of digital side of metalsmithing and how that would become more prominent as the as the decades went on going into the 2000s, the 2010s, and now the 2020s. But he started doing and working with computers for design all the way back in 1990, which is very early on. Um, computers had only started taking off in prominence more in the 80s, back in the 70s. Before that, they were essentially, essentially something that only computer nerds messed with. So delving into it in 1990... For in regards to the uh, to the metal smithing game, is quite quite interesting and quite alluring. It's quite forward thinking actually. <laughs> but yeah, no. So he uh, a lot of his modern work uh, is it comprises uh, of partially 3D printed bits or have 3D printed components. But of course he still does. He works with uh, just hands on crafting and metal metal smithing in the more traditional sense. So it's a bit of a mix of both. It's sort of a hybrid type thing. So here's some of his works. Um, unfortunately, a lot of these did not have any information. I couldn't get names, dimensions, um, but at least we have photos to admire them with. Um, a couple of these, Justify and Dusky, are from are from around the time that he started working with computer aided technology in the field, but Dusky being from 1989, Justify from 1990. Um, these are very nice, very ornate, quite industrial looking pieces. I think that's something that I've always kind of really liked about, this, about the work that I've seen ever since we started doing this research is I like how industrial everything looks. I feel like some metalsmiths like to make a lot of their work quite, quite pretty and polished, and that's completely fine but I really do love the sort of almost raw and kind of well not not un, definitely not unpolished but sort of salts of the earth kind of feel of Mr. McCormick's work it's very it, there's a very natural element to it which I've always uh, quite liked again ever since we started doing the research for these presentations very 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 interesting stylistically. So here are some other artists who are similar to Mr. McCormick. You have Doug Bucci, who does many bracelets, necklaces, but it's all very, it's all very um, intricate, especially as that kind of, the, um, that is that kind of bracelet right there has many holes and kind of 3D printing these components and uh, working with them and w with your hands is quite a feat because they are very delicate and a lot of these things require a lot of precision when working with them. Joe Wood is another. Joe Wood is a bit more on the brooch side of here. He works with brooches a lot so while, while Mr. McCormick did do, or does do brooches on occasion. I the the most most of the things I've seen is he has bracelets, necklaces, earrings, something sort of like what Doug Bucci was doing here. Although Joe Wood 
Um, also, also does bracelets. Also just works with jewelry. Although, again, some of his stuff is definitely on the side of furniture, more ornate ornaments, that sort of thing. And lastly, Matt Holland. Um, Mr. Holland's pieces are very nice. Again, they they tend to, I, I would say they err more on the side of furniture and ornament than it does jewelry, although Mr. Holland has plenty of jewelry work. Um, this is one that really compelled me. Succulent forms from 2001, made out of fabricated pewter. Unfortunately, that's the only information we could get, we could gleam about it, but it's all very nice and the same. So yeah, in conclusion, um, Mr. McCormick's work has evolved a lot over the years, and that and a lot of a, a good bit of that evolution is thanks in part to the evolution of technology surrounding 3D printing, the ever the ever evolving nature of technology and its inclusion in our daily lives, and of course that would spill over into the metalsmithing world. Many metalsmiths prefer to be purely traditionalist, you know, everything crafted from your hands, and that's totally cool, but I do love seeing this inclusion of these very present and you know, only getting more prominent, te these technologies that are only becoming more prominent and present. And I and um, I think it's really smart and forward thinking to kind of jump on that and see how it can be interweaved with more traditional techniques, such as chasing, casting. Yeah, but um, yeah, that was Mr. McCormick, that was Rod McCormick, and a lot of his work is really nice. And... Thank you for watching. Thank you. Have a good one.